Because it's my favorite story. Leave it to three-year-old Leona. Remember who you. To remind all of us the recipe for a good story can relate to its repetition. Can you feel care about the love tonight? How often you read the lines, sing the lyrics. Can you feel the love? And even how often you click, like, and share. And how was your birthday cake, my dear? Good. That would be the birthday cake featuring one Mufasa from Lion King at a rather dire moment. For her birthday, she wanted a live donkey, and I said no. And she wanted a hot air balloon ride, and I said no. And so when she was came up with this idea for this Mufasa cake, I was like, well, at least I can help her live out those dreams because that'll be easy to do. An unusual request prompted by a rather natural toddler motivation. She simply wanted to savor that cake. And she's such a sweet, empathetic kid, and she understands about sharing, and she understands, like, and that's why it was extra funny because when she came up with this. Funny enough for her uncle to tweet out the image and explanation. And it's like, oh, Okay. And funny enough. Let's turn the page. Turn the page. For Leona and Cake to get some on air and online traction. So at this point, how many clicks, how many shares, how many likes? It says 54 million people on Twitter have seen it. And with that, this story, like a good cake, reveals another layer. We work with families of missing children. We work to prevent crimes against kids. And we're under the umbrella of zero abuse. As Allison saw an opportunity to combine her roles as mommy and advocate. My younger brother called me maybe like an hour and a half after he tweeted. And he's like, um, this is getting some traction. Do you have anything you want to promote? Yeah, I'd love to promote to Let's End Child Abuse. Let's get more people on board who want to make sure that kids get to live out their healthy dreams and their quirky he dreams. It's king. He wants to be king. Sure enough, the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center, part of the Zero Abuse Project, just enjoyed a giant jump in online traffic and donations. As more people just knowing about the organization and knowing about their mission, regardless of um, all the chaos that currently swirls around a birthday cake. Ready? Yeah. A surprise ingredient proving some stories may offer a mix of humor, drama, and music. Should we sing this song? Can you feel While others love? serve up a plate full of purpose before their sweet ending. The funny thing is, can you feel when she got her piece of cake, she licked off the frosting, took one bite, and she was full. I just hope it brings joy to people in this world where we just currently need a little bit of joy. Can you feel Carla Holt? Can you feel the love? Care 11 News. She definitely ate the whole cake. And if you couldn't read the social media post, the reason why she had that cake made is she said it was such a sad scene that she knew no one else would want to eat it. So she got the cake all to herself. And those 15 minutes of fame are not going to slow down for that little girl anytime soon. The Today Show just interviewed her. And one of the top questions asked by people of the kid on social media or of the mom was, did the kid really come up with the idea on her own? And Allison said, yeah, absolutely. Again, the kid wanted the cake for herself. That was the way to do it. We'll be right back.